In the last session, we developed a model like this, where we had these as our IVs here. These were our mediators, the dependent variables, and the moderators. Now in this session, we are going to again develop another model, just for the sake of practice, just for the sake of better understanding. And in coming sessions, I'm going to look into how to draft a problem statement based on the models that we propose, how to write your research objectives, how to write your research questions. In this session, I'm going to go back and look into servant leadership as my variable of interest. And I'm interested in using servant leadership here as my independent variable, whereby let's have a look. What can we have as our dependent variable? And now again, we will propose our mediators here and maybe a moderator if we could find one. So how to do this? Let's go back. Let's say I'm interested in servant leadership. Now that the results we've got, what we need to do is we need to get latest research. Let's go for 2021. And in here, I am interested in research studies that have assessed the relationship between variables. If you look here, moderating role. So this study is based on survey research and that assesses the relationship between these variables here. Again, look at this word effect. Let's say this is a systematic literature review, a systematic literature review or a meta analytic review. Now these reviews clearly identify research gaps. And we are going to talk about these as well in coming lectures. Let's move down. Let's say this paper here, this one, the interplay of green leadership. Let's get this paper. Now here is the paper. Yes, it has got hypothesis. So this is what I'm interested in for now. Green servant leadership. They are looking at the impact of green servant leadership on intrinsic motivation and employees pro environmental behavior, whereas green self efficacy is your moderating variable. Now let's look at the future research directions and see if we can get something out of it. So here is the section limitations and future research directions. Nothing can be perfect and the limitations of this study widen the horizons for future research. Despite offering unique theoretical and practical insights, our study has some limitations. So the study does have some limitations. At first, obviously it is cross-sectional data. They want maybe you to change your data collection technique. For now, remember, just changing the data collection technique won't help. You will have to have a new relationships that you can check. This was done in energy sector in Pakistan. If you do it, let's say in energy sector in India, or let's say US or Australia, well, this is not a significant contribution. Let's say you do it in manufacturing sector in these countries still not a significant contribution. The significance of contribution emerges from new relationships. Third, this study included only green intrinsic motivation as a mediator. Future studies may include organizational team and individual level constructs. Now they have given generalized list of constructs that can be utilized as mediator. For example, green empowerment, green knowledge, sharing, Green trust and green climate. Okay, now let's use these mediators. How do we use them? Let's go up and look at the DV. So what's the DV here? Pro environmental behavior. Environmental behavior is your DV. And they did recommend some mediators. So let's add some mediators here. So I guess they recommended three. So let's all add all those three variables here. Green empowerment, knowledge sharing, green trust, green empowerment, green knowledge sharing, green trust. And if I'm not wrong, they recommended green climate as well. So green climate. Now, based on the existing research, now you have created a whole new model for yourself. Are there any other recommendations? So they've got uh, self-efficacy as moderator and 
They are recommending other moderating variables like green locus of control, altruism, consciousness, green job crafting. Let's say I like this one here. Locus of control. Let's say we take locus of control here. In this relationship here, green locus of control is your moderator. Now what you have done is you have proposed a whole new model based on a study. However, there are certain problems with this model. Number one and most importantly, what if someone else has the same model because they studied this particular paper as well. Although there are multiple recommendations, but what if they have got the same mediators that you took? What if they, inter they were interested in clean locus of control as well? How do you solve this particular problem? Now, in order to solve this problem, what you need to do is you need to further look into servant leadership and how green servant leadership. Now, in this case, it was green servant leadership. So let's say, let's we, let us search on green servant leadership to find new variables. Here, let's write green servant leadership. Green servant leadership. So this one, I guess this was the paper that we looked into. Yes, this was the one. Let's look at this one here. Otherwise, if you can't find something on green servant leadership, why don't you go and find something on environmental behavior and maybe add a few variables here or maybe add an antecedent here that can serve as a mediator between the two. So if you are interested in adding a mediator here, what you have to do theoretically is make sure that this variable here, your IV can affect this variable and your mediator can affect this variable as well. And let's say if we come here, so we've got this paper here. So here is your servant leadership or green servant leadership and have they recommended something. Let's see. Now they are recommending that you could use other leadership styles. Future research may consider examining whether ESSL better predicts green outcomes than environmentally specific empowering leadership in the hotel industry. Finally, this study could be replicated. So they are not recommending precisely some new mediators. This is what I'm interested in or maybe a new outcome or maybe new moderators. So this is uh, we cannot use this paper for now. So let's say we get another paper. Let's say this one here. This one. I'm not sure about the journal. So you can obviously go on to master journalist and search this journal as well. And this one here is Springer. Okay, so let's have a look here. So green servant leadership as mediator and initiatives as an independent variable. Green performance as dependent. And let's look at future research directions here. So again, they are recommending other leadership styles as well in combination with this particular leadership style. So you can have a more comparative study. Well, this, this is an option that can be taken into consideration. Let's look at this paper here. The model. Yes, it is a hypothesis based model, a multi-level model. And let's look at some variables that they have recommended. Maybe look at this. Now they have recommended green value congruence and green role identity. Now let's say we will take role identity as a mediator. We can have servant leadership and then we can have green role identity and that can influence your behavior. So now you are adding another variable from another paper. So you are decreasing the chance that the same person somewhere else would have read the same paper. Now again, if you are not sure, maybe take two variables from the first paper. Maybe take this one from the second paper. Maybe let's say take another leadership style as mentioned green transformational leadership as a variable here and then look at the impact of each of these and compare the impact of each of these on these outcomes. Now you are taking gaps from three papers and this will help you minimize this issue and you will have a more complex, a more original model for your research with gaps flowing in from multiple research studies. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to propose a new and original research model for your research based on existing research. Thank you very much.